Hi everyone, I'm Heather Paul out here with NASA's Desert Research and Technology Studies test team. And with me is Vivek. Now you have a really cool job. Can you explain what we have here and what you do? Yeah, um, what we have here is a moon tire. And what we do is try to develop tires that act like air-filled tires, but don't use any air and don't use any rubber. Cool, so what we have on typical cars right now are these pneumatic tires, the air-filled ones, kind of like what you're seeing here on the Chariot right. Rover, right? And so why would we want to go away from that for lunar exploration? So I guess the first point is for a manned mission, you can't have an air-filled structure because if it goes flat, it aborts the mission. Okay, good point. Right. Flat tire's bad, okay. And uh, the second point is that rubber doesn't work on the moon. The temperature swings are extreme and in hot temperatures rubber is soft mm -hmm. and in cold temperatures it's very brittle. Okay, so can you talk me through a little bit? I mean it's like metal and plastic and all kinds of cool stuff. What do we have here? So we work with some of the major tire manufacturers. This, is, this happens to be a lunar tire we uh, developed in partnership with Michelin. Okay, very cool. They call it the Tweel, uh, tire and wheel. Nice. It deforms like a tire but it requires no air rubber like we said. Mm -hmm. And uh, it looks very complicated, but it's actually really simple. Okay. If you put weight on this tire, the outer band grows and these spokes go into tension. So the amount that they stretch is the amount that this wheel will deform at the bottom. Okay. So it deforms like a tire. Interesting. Now I have to ask you a serious question here because you know when we're talking about exploration, we're designing rovers and spacesuits. Why should we be paying particular attention to designing a tire? Well, I guess you can't have a vehicle without a tire. Good point. And on the moon, if you can't <laughs> use the ones we have, we have to do some technology development. Awesome. Well, so how did you get to work at NASA? Well, I started out as an intern and liked it. I thought it was, um, you know, kind of like being in school, but the projects were a little more complicated. Okay. And serious homework, right? Serious homework. <laughs> awesome. So how long have you worked at NASA then? Since 2004. Wow, so a couple years here, very yeah, good. good. And you work at Glenn Research Center? I do, in Cleveland, Ohio. Excellent, so you, you've you come from intern working as an undergrad at NASA all the way up to working with the lunar development for tires for exploration. That's right. That's really awesome, I think that's cool. Well, thank you so much. It was really nice to talk to you today and Me good too. luck with your testing. Appreciate it. Thanks.